Well, you can find D. Watkins now in college classrooms where his students call him professor. But not that long ago, he was an East Baltimore drug dealer. Mike Shear reports his books about his life became a bestseller, and now he's back in school handing out gifts. On the east side, D. Watkins didn't have books as a kid, didn't read the ones offered in school. So there's an irony here that we're at a school, and I'm helping this best selling author schlep boxes of his books up to a classroom to give away. I did a citywide contest for Baltimore City Public School students to um, basically, for them and their teachers to get together and say, why they wanted to use the books. This is D. Watkins' third book. All are deeply personal about his life, first surviving the drug game, then thriving as a college professor in Baltimore. Hey, how you guys doing? We're at Forest Park High. The reason he's here is simple. Studies show that people who grow up with books in their homes tend to go further than people who don't. So now he hopes these books will be the start of personal libraries for these kids. I didn't have an opportunity to sit in a classroom like this and have somebody who's, um, you know, give me advice on what I should be doing after high school. I just, I didn't have it. Miss Snow, a second year teacher, and her students reached out to him for this advice. His is a message that may pay off years from now. As you uh, go on that road to success, it's just important to make sure you coming back to Forest Park and you talking to the next group of people to make sure that they have the same success as well. Because we all need examples and role models, right? So far, Dee's given away about 600 of the 1,000 of these books he has planned for Baltimore City Schools. He's back on the book tour on Thursday. He's in Brooklyn and then on Saturday in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. At Forest Park High School, I'm Mike Shue for WJZ.